Hello everybody and welcome to my 39th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use uh, workbook events so again there's going to be a few tutorials on these um, but to start off with I'm just going to show you a, the one that will run when the workbook opens so to do this go into your Visual Basic editor and then double click on the this workbook object or go to view code on this workbook object then come into your editor uh, and we're gonna put in here just select workbook from your drop down and then make sure open is selected from here and it's gonna come up with this workbook underscore open sub so this is the sub that you put in and it will run whenever the workbook opens up so let's say we just put in for now a message box and it says welcome to the workbook um, just as an example so let's save this workbook now so save and then let's just close it down and then I'm going to open it back up again so tutorial 39 and then when it opens up it's going to run this code that says welcome to the workbook um, so you can use this for quite a lot of stuff. Uh, the main things I use it for are kind of when people open it up to test user access. So let's go in here. So one thing you can use from here, say, is if you put in environ username, then this is going to return a string that gives you the the value of the the username of the computer that's logging in. So my one comes up as Matthew. So let's put if environ bracket username equals Matthew. Um, put in our speech marks. We don't need that first bracket. Then and if so, then this code is only going to run if the user is me. Um, if they are, it's going to come up with a message box. It says hi Matt. Welcome to your workbook. If not, I want it to kick it, kick the user out. So let's put um, first thing when you're kick, kicking someone out of a sheet, just put this workbook dot saved equals true. What this does is it doesn't actually save the workbook. What it does is it just sets the property of the workbook, um, the saved property to true. So when I close it, it's not going to prompt the user to save it themselves. And then I just put this workbook dot close. And if and so when I open it now, if if it's my own computer logging into it, it's going to let me in. If it's anyone else trying to log into it on their computer, it's going to kick them straight out. Um, and let's just give them a message box. It says message box, you are not authorized. To view this spreadsheet, um, and you could get it to compare it against the list rather than having it as just one user. Um, but I'm just putting in a user for now. Um, you could put it against the array, or as we come on to later tutorials, you can access a database and have a list of users in the database. For now, let's run this. So let's just save it off, close it down, and let's open it up tutorial 39 and it says hi Matt welcome to your workbook even greeting me um, if we just change it now so let's say the username is uh, Dan um, and then let's save this and close it down and then reopen it again then now it's going to come up saying you're not authorized to view the spreadsheet press OK and it's going to close down the spreadsheet for me um, so now when I open it up, um, I'm going to have to try and get around this because now I've uh, broken it. So when it comes up with this, just press pause, break, and then debug, and then it's going to let you go into here. Um, obviously, you don't want people to know how to do that. So what I normally do is, I'm, if I'm using this, is any sheets that I don't want people to view, I'll have as very hidden. Um, so if you go into the sheet and you go to these properties here, it's property very hidden that you can only access using VBA um, and then just lock your VBA code down by going to um, I 
believe it's properties, protection, lock project for viewing, and then just put a password in, and then they have to put the password in in order to access your code. So they're not going to be able to use that pause break. I'm not going to show you because then I'm going to lock down the code and I'm not going to be really actually going to be able to access it. Um, and when I provide all of these example workbooks, I'm just going to comment all this code out because otherwise it's, you're not going to be able to even look at it. Um, but just as a tip there, um, just remember that they can use the pause break as well as you. So if someone knows what they're doing, it's not going to work unless you have your your code password protected. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. And uh, the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the uh, before close um, event. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.